What's going on, New Gaming Order? We back, we back like this, jacking up, bitch. This is Alex Lexus with New Gaming Order staff and guests. And I, first of all, I was initially going to postpone this podcast, but uh, I think so- something Shinwar said that kind of motivated me to keep going with it because I hate to start late. Bottom line, it's an army thing. Like I just, if Alex, not, you know what you are? What? You're a big fat liar. What are you talking about? Hey. You said you were going to postpone it tomorrow, but you're doing it now. You're a big fat liar. Well, uh, I'll explain <laughs> why I'm doing it now. You jerk. Oh. All right. But um, basically, I wasn't going to give up on it. So here we are. So uh, I know. Shout out to Khalif, who was with us yesterday. I don't have him on my Skype. I think he's on Nelson's. So. I mean, um, don't. It's nothing personal. Like I just wanted to get the show done. I'll probably have you on the next one, so uh, we'll just take it from there. So um, going around the table, Chris, uh, give uh, introductions before we get started. Yo, that's all I got. Unfreaking believable, <laughs> Shinmar. Uh, open. That's the gonna be a. That's gonna be rather large to write a hashtag for. Unfreaking believable. Yeah, I, I, I know, I know. But yeah, Shinwar, open the comments. Um, what are we talking about? What, what's hot in the news? Avengers, Mortal Kombat, uh, the, the disappointing Rockstar. Pacquiao fight. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, we're still on that. Oh, we're oh, off that. Yeah, we're off yeah, that. He, actually, uh, Pacquiao and, May- and Mayweather are both getting sued for that fight. <laughs> now, you know, here's the thing. I heard that he disclosed the injury. And they went with the fight anyway. So then, if they are gonna get sued, good, because I noticed. Okay, it, it, it just didn't seem well, right, the, and it, it was a very I, underwhelming fight. You know, I just... didn't see the last fight, but I saw the one where he got screwed by the judges. Oh yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't have. He has. He doesn't have that fire in him anymore. A he lot of people have... are saying that. I mean, yeah. Uh, so oh, this, we, we knew there was going to be some type of controversy around this thing. I thought yeah. he was going to get screwed by the judges, but that was that was Mayweather's fight just by watching it. But yeah. Mayweather's a boring boxer, and I don't think anyone ever is ever going to watch another Mayweather fight again. Yeah, this, this thing. Fight. Here's the thing, and you know what? A lot of folks will say something about this, and you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. I I say that boxing is in need of reform because the problem is. Like, there was a time in the 90s, it was exciting to watch boxing, you know? It, it was, it, it, it's not, it wasn't super barbaric, but the better man won. Holyfield, Riddick, Bo. You had freaking Galata punching people in the groin and whatnot, but it was still entertaining. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now you got things like, you had fighters like Lennox Lewis, who also fucked up the heavyweight division, just like the, the Klitschko brothers, where it's just, they just took the excitement out of the sport. And at, at, on uh, that note, you mean, you mean Captain Hugs, right? Well, well Lennox Lewis. Yeah. The only fight I watched with him, he was uh, hugging every like every ten seconds. Except for was... Rockman when he knocked his ass out, and I was so freaking happy when I saw that on HBO. But then he came back and beat him in the second fight. But I think Lennox Lewis getting knocked out by Rockman woke his ass up and like, hey, I need to fight. I need to fight. And I think that's what Mayweather needs. If you look, at um, the... and that's still in my introduction. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hold Unbelievable! Up. Wait, we ran with it. Go ahead. Yeah, that's all I got. Oh, <laughs> what the heck? Anyway, you know what? This will just be like a little PSA segment thing, or I'll just split it up. But in terms of how Lennox Lewis was fighting, he needed a loss to humble him and make him fight. Like when he went and fought Rockman in the rematch, he kicked his ass. I'm like, all right, good, good. At least he shows that he has it in him. But you got a lot of people like, hey, it's okay for Mayweather to fight like that. And if people prefer boring ass shit, that's fine. You know, the Olympic boxers show they're hungry. Like NCAA basketball players show they're more hungry. Once they get to the NBA, it's a whole other thing. Like, it's just like, uh, it's about money. What happened to just the pure essence of the sport and then not the business aspect? It's just, I don't know, there's too much money involved in it. When you get rich, you get scared. When you have something to lose, that's when you get scared. But you know what? Floyd Mayweather's identity is around that undefeated streak. You know, if anybody had a chance with a healthy Pacquiao, he would have been the one to do it. But five years ago, he would. Yeah, five years ago, he. But he knew. Him, but... He knew he didn't take that fight knowing full well. Like they're past their prime. 
You know what I mean? And, and Mayweather, Mayweather aged better, even though he, even though Pacquiao's younger, he aged better. Yeah, well, this but is I, true. But I think that has to go with the mentality too, because like I said, I feel Pacquiao lost that fire he has. He doesn't have the drive to win because he's a senator in the Philippines. He's filthy fucking rich. So Not yeah, he's spread Mayweather, thin. But... He's a bit, he's spread thin. Yeah, you know and mean? plus, you know, he doesn't need to be a boxer anymore. He doesn't need it. That's that's the other thing. If you don't need to do something, you're not going to put your heart into it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, also, you had a lot of folks, to include myself, because I will admit, like, you got a lot of people that wanted to see Mayweather lose because of the person he is outside of the ring. You know what I mean? Because, you know, all those memes that were going around, like, oh, the most offense you've seen Floyd Mayweather. Oh, uh, you, you, know, just you just reminded me of who else is suing Mayweather. Oh, okay. Um, I, well, I, once I say this little joke, there. Yeah, I'll, I'll okay. Go. All right, go but ahead. Yeah, go. Mayweather, you see how he was fighting Pacquiao, like in that whole defense, or you know, in the first three rounds he was fighting scared. That's why he was behind that jab, like, just like Lennox Lewis was doing. But yeah, the hugging stopped around the sixth round. Yeah, a fatigue set in. But Floyd Mayweather was more offensive with some of these, you know, domestic domestic violent cases, as <laughs> then, you know what I mean. You know, they're like, Did where was that Floyd Mayweather? Why did he come to the ring and show us, like, a, a, a fight? Because the problem with the pay-per-view is the fact that it was so hype that people who never watched boxing before were watching it expecting to see a fight, and they didn't get that. You know, he's supposed to be this representation of the sport, but his attitude sucks outside the ring. He hits women. You know what I mean? I, I, and this is not me just judging him. This is just facts. You know, he, he's arrogant. He, he has a, a boy mentality where money, money, money. You know, I think more people identify with Pacquiao because he's more or less a, a good person outside of the ring. You know, those who are religious uh, gravitated to him. Those who are philanthropists who do things, you know, for, for other people. So it was like Pacquiao was that supposed to be that hope to, to shut this guy up. And, it, and hey, shit happens. He just happen. doesn't have that hunger. Uh -huh. But know what? I would pay for a pay-per-view if Tyson fought Mayweather. Oh, like a charity event? Yeah. Our real pay-per-view. I pay a hundred bucks to see that. Because uh... Tyson has a beef with him too, but... Uh, back on point, uh, the feed into your thing, uh, they actually... Mayweather's people banned uh, a couple reporters who were questioning him about his best domestic abuse from covering the fight. They oh, kept really? them out of the arena. Yeah, so that, that happened for three different female reporters. And wow. also... I believe it's his ex-wife, mother of three of his kids, is suing him for lying about the domestic abuse on an interview. Wow. Hey, well... Because that, count, that counts as slander, I believe. Because uh, he wasn't being truthful about the abuse, so she's suing him for that. Ew. Well, here's my thing. I, you know, in ring, he did what he was... It, 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 those of you who watched Mayweather throughout the year yeah. just knew what It wasn't what a surprise. Expect. Yeah. It wasn't a surprise for the people who used to watch him. Yeah, and the thing is, like, I don't get, like, if you want to see paint dry, watch a Mayweather fight. You know what I mean? <laughs> I swear, that shit was freaking boring. Give me yeah. Fight Night Champion on the Xbox 360 and PS3 over Mayweather fight any day. And I don't care no, that what? WWE is you scripted, but you at least... You should do that as a podcast, Pacquiao versus Mayweather. What, on the, on the uh, Fight Night? Yeah. Well, it's this is kind of falling into that, but, you know... I just wanted to say, hey, you know what? It, it was just a big letdown, and Pacquiao knew better. Freddie Roach knew better. You don't let the guy fight hurt. And and I didn't want to hear that, like, oh, Pacquiao was hurt. I'm like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear excuses for for him because he took the fight. He took the fight. You, you rip your rotator cuff, you know, because he was training too hard because I'm going to get him, I'm going to get him. Hey, that happened to me where I, I strained my um, hip flexor. Back back in high school, when I'm sitting there kickboxing, and like the guy that I lost to, I'm like, I'm gonna rip him apart. Then I had to delay the fight because I'm like, oh yeah, I was going in too hard, you know. So you gotta preserve yourself, you know. And the way Mayweather fight fights, he preserves himself, you know. It's whatever. And for him to say he he's better than Ali, now that's what I'm talking about—the arrogance. Somebody has to knock him down a few notches and just stay humble. You know, for if you saw the Arsenio Hall segment from years ago, you had Ali. That's a, yeah, Sugar with Tyson Ray. and Sugar Ray. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, 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 you, you, and you see how even with Tyson, with his behavior issues back then, he still respected Ali. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's just something that Mayweather need, doesn't understand. That's It's not just that, okay, yeah, 
if he was in the ring or whatever but i think he's doing a job he's portraying a character to make you hate him to watch the fight to think hey, hey i want to see him go down I, I think that's his only real draw no so, I, well, I, well I, from I from that's from, who he is. That's well from is. from what mayweather said when he started out especially in the olympics he was called pretty boy floyd so he was back then he was very quiet very humble or whatever he was the nice guy per se and after he lost um he received that bronze medal at the olympics when everybody said he beat that guy and the judges screwed him over and even the referee who refereed that match resigned after that based off the judge's decision he was like i can no longer do this mayweather from that point said i'm gonna go pro mm -hmm. um and he basically casted off the quote unquote pretty boy image and he went into this bad guy mode but he said all it is is it's a character that he brought out of himself so when you see the the flamboyancy and all the, the trash talking it's a it's it's a part of him that was already there mm -hmm. but he just amplifies it you mm. can't really believe this guy goes around acting you know whatever which way it's all for a show to mm -hmm. an extent yeah. Now you know he he's getting money and all that. If that's the way he wants to live, that's the way he chooses. Hey, to I live. don't cast any stones. Hey, he, that that's him. Right. Yeah. In in the ring, in the ring, I think he he yes, some of his wins are very debatable and questionable. The Maidana um, fight, the first fight, he lost that fight. I don't care what anybody right, right, says. Right, 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 mm. right, 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 right. Um, but at the same time, I think he's figured out a system where it's all about points. He knows how to um, manipulate the copy box. Like everybody, there were some folks saying that while I was at drill this weekend. He knows how to make it look good so it registers, even if it's not a clean punch. You have right, folks, right, right. You have right, folks right. saying, "Oh, he landed all this." It's like I fought in the ring before, a kickboxing, and if if you're blocking and somebody's hitting you up there, you know, and it's not mm -hmm. a clean shot. Why are they counting it? You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And right. I had to. I was kind of yelling at a soldier for that. I'm like, you don't know what it's like. I took boxing lessons. Fuck out of here. I've been in there with somebody trying to knock my head off, and when I blocked, they didn't count it. You know what I mean? Now, it when, make it, sense. when you look at Mayweather back then, I want to say at least in '96 when he was younger, yeah. he fought ferociously against these guys. He Even wasn't a Della defensive. Hoya. Like, yeah, he was not a defensive a defensive boxer. So I think over the years he he definitely changed his style. But on a come up, when he was knocking these guys out, he was ferocious back then. But you I know think that was just, his father mm -hmm. though. His father saw, that, that, right, right, his, right, right. His father saw that uh, I think against Mosley and a couple others, there were some shots, and Pacquiao even hit him with these shots. Like he has problems with the left cross, right? Pacquiao hit mm -hmm. him twice clean and and you know if with more power it would have knocked him out you know because yeah. he, he threw the jab and he slipped it hit him with that cross his father said i don't want to see floyd get hit like that no more so guess mm -hmm. what we're gonna make you a defensive fighter and there you go but at the same time at the same time a his, his, his speed is 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 good um because i think there was one pacquiao threw a I think it was a right hook and I mean the way uh, Mayweather dipped it I'm not gonna take away from his skill he does have skill mm -hmm. but I think he he in his matches he's not focused on the KO he's focused on the points mm -hmm. and it makes it look sloppy it does make the match look sloppy because mm -hmm. it's like dude you're not even trying you're dancing around the ring and that's nothing wrong with that but he, he looked like if, dan in street fighter 4 when he runs away or his back dash that's all he did like right but it's you know you, you you're out there and even he said it this is mayweather's word he said i want to put on a show give the people an entertainment but at the same time you're not when you're in the ring you're not and when you look at pacquiao pacquiao was steady trying to get in on him yeah yeah but you know what? Pacquiao did fail to do something he's done in other fights. He should have just cut the ring off on him. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, it's just, I don't know. My thing is, um, again, now, I think Mayweather only agreed to do the rematch because people are questioning the victory. They're like, mm -hmm. man, oh, well. Uh, he, there's actually going to be a rematch? Well, yeah. Mayweather agreed to rematch Pacquiao at 100%. Okay? So, with that being said, now, I'm not watching it. There, there you go.
down with uh, with the way this first fight went down. Like, are you serious? Like, do you think gonna, anybody's I, I, gonna I, buy I, this again? I'll put money that it's gonna be more than a hundred dollars for the next one. And no one's gonna buy it. They're gonna have to no. do it at a discount and based off of. Oh, that's that's right. Another lawsuit's because of um, some of the some Twitch streaming service not, or not Twitch, uh, some Twitter streaming services get to sue because of uh, people were in the in the arena were streaming the fight over it over, off their like phones. Wow. Oh, there was a service. I forgot the name of the service that they were using. Yeah, that's um, I read about that uh, oh, yesterday. What was? Yeah, it was. They were using it to, <laughs> to stream it. Oh but my God. another thing, some cable um, ISPs, uh, service providers, uh, blacked out. And people who paid for that had to get refunds and all. I forget exactly. I, I was hearing it on ESPN um, this morning. But, uh, yeah, there was a lot of cable services. People already paid. And then the fight had... Uh, oh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it was like, ooh, you know. But that goes to show you, if it was like more, the buy rate was so high that they probably weren't anticipating who mm -hmm. was going to, you know, subscribe in. Uh, you know, but you see, people wanted to see this fight. And it I was mean, but underwhelming, got, to say the least. Yeah, you got stuff stream, you know, people streaming on the website. I mean, everywhere you can try to get it, it crashed it. <laughs> All right, but that's just my two cents. I know a lot of folks who are gonna who are pro Mayweather are gonna be like, yeah, yeah, that's okay. Fuck them. That's you know, all I gotta say. Fuck them. You know, uh, it, th those types of fights are to me are what kind of ruined boxing for 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 me for a while. Really? I, I thought it, I thought it was the corruption of boxing that ruined it. No, they, this took it to level two. This is Super Saiyan God version of r corruption and ruining shit for me, you know what well, I mean? No, I, don't think I tried to give it a chance, I tried to give well, it no, a chance. I don't think that this fight wasn't actually anything to do with corruption, not like the la the one Pacquiao fight or but any other the fight. Thing, this, where... The judges were like, you know, I, I pegged the fight would have been a split decision, but unanimous? I'm like, ugh. No, I, that's, I, I don't that, know about that. No, that was too, this was Mayweather. Pacquiao was sloppy, he wasn't anywhere near aggressive enough. Mm. And if it was because of the injury, so be it, but I... I watched it. Like I mentioned, I didn't see the fight where Pacquiao got knocked out. I saw the one where he got screwed by the judges. Yeah, he did the same. He did the same thing. Um, fucking Mayweather did. He 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 stayed calm. He wasn't too aggressive. It went twelve rounds, and he got fucked over by the judges. Hmm. And he even admitted, I should have been more aggressive. I should have went for the knockout. But, but you see, Bradley. Bradley even said, like, I was telling somebody, I, you know, and Shinwa will tell you, at SS Catholic High School, there's a time where there was a lot of fighting going on. Okay, and a lot of biting. What? He, you know what I'm talking about. But you know, mano a mano, if you want to fight, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. If you, if if, if uh, a Landley, uh, the, the announcer is coming and asking you, do you think you won that fight? Oh, we're gonna have to look at the scorecards, bitch. You know if you won the fight or not. Come on, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, well, the, if you think about it this way, one of the judges, I forget, it was a woman. I forget which one it was. Yeah. She was the same one that scored. Um, I forgot what USC fight it was, but there was a USC fight a year or two later that also had an issue with the decision. Where even Dana White was calling it out, attacking the uh, Nevada State uh, Gaming Commission. Uh, uh, I think that was retired. the one with Randy Couture. Like Randy Couture lost the fight, and then he, they it was had some, him. I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and but that woman retired after that, and this the Nevada State Commission never goes after these people. Mm. So they're to blame, you know, all the shenanigans Don King pulled back in the day are to blame. Mm -hmm. It's a Is whole fucking alive? mess with Pac. Yeah, he's yeah. still alive. <laughs> yeah. Why <laughs> you laugh, yo? That's he, messed up. He, no, he looked like somebody that used to be part of my uh, team. Long story, you know, taco meat galore. But I'm gonna leave that alone. Taco, she, taco meat. You should more know what I'm talking about. But no, I don't. Yes, you oh, do. Oh, 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 oh. Unbelievable! <laughs> unbelievable! <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, new game in order. We're going to bring this particular segment to an end. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on YouTube, Twitch. Shout out to Fullscreen for being our partner. Oh, wait, wait. Before you wrap up, Ursel, did you ever finish huh? your opening statement? Yeah, he did. Yes, yes. Okay, all right, just want to make sure. <laughs> all right, so new game in order. We're going to go into intermission. Unbelievable. And those of you watching live, Chris, do we got anything on the chat before? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Slinky Jim's commenting. Uh, he said he'd rather watch Glory. But he enjoys uh, people getting their ears bit off. I think I think um, he's a Tyson fan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And anyway, <laughs> with that, no game in order. We act like the Juggernaut, bitch. Join us for our next segment. Oh. And boom.